The last thing to do is to map the data that the form fields will collect to WebDocs iSeries fields so you can save the form data to WebDocs. In this section, I'll refer to the fictional company Acme Company. Using a specific example will better help you understand the concepts in this section. So let's assume that this form you just designed is for use at Acme Company. The first step is to expand the WebDocs workflow group. Give yourself more space by closing the controls area. The first two WebDocs fields are for future development, and you can ignore them. Go to the properties of WD doc type to assign this form a WebDocs document type. Acme Company's document type for expense reports is called EXPREP, so type that in the value text box. Exact values in WebDocs iSeries fields for document types are case sensitive, so at Acme Company, the person designing the form needs to make sure to enter the document type name and not the description. Go to the properties of WD doc title to assign this form a WebDocs title. WebForms uses two at symbols followed by a field name to dynamically link a field value to a WebDocs field. And the field name is case sensitive. Type at at name expense report in the value text box. This entry assigns the name a user types in the name text box in the form followed by the words expense report to be the document's title. So when Amanda Smith fills out her expense report, it will get saved to WebDocs with title Amanda Smith expense report. And the expense report of another employee, Byron Manager, will get saved to WebDocs with title Byron Manager expense report, and so forth. Next, go to the properties of WD Doc Folder 1 to assign this form to a WebDocs Level 1 folder. Acme Company's Level 1 folder for their expense reports is ACCT. Exact values in WebDocs iSeries fields for folders are case sensitive, so at Acme Company, the person designing the form needs to make sure to enter the name and not the description. Go to the properties of WD Doc Folder 2 to assign this form a WebDocs Level 2 folder. Acme Company's Level 2 folder is AP. Next, go to the properties of WD Doc Key 01 to map the value for the first WebDocs index key. The first index key for expense reports is the department the employee works in. Go to the properties of WD Doc Key 02 to map the value for the second WebDocs index key. The second index key for expense reports is the total dollar amount for expenses. And you can continue mapping form fields to WebDocs index key fields in this way. Now that you've had an introduction to the WebForms designer, learned how to lay out and design the various parts of a form, and learn how to map form fields to WebDocs fields, you can begin designing your own forms and use them to collect the business data you need. 